You're looking at video from inside several units in the Gadsden Green neighborhood. That's a property of the Charleston Housing Authority. It's the same video that got state representatives and community leaders attention, resulting in a meeting today to discuss plans to improve living conditions in that neighborhood. Our Molly McBride breaks down that plan and what residents have to say about it. Just to be comfortable in the home would be nice. To be able to walk in and breathe and have that relaxing, fresh, deep breath and be like, I'm home. I haven't had that yet, so to have that means the world. I last spoke to Brittany Mulvaney last week when she allowed me to tour her home to see the conditions she lives in. Today, she joined state representatives and community leaders to share her story once more. A lot more hopeful, hopeful that seeing so many people get involved and taking the time out of their day from what they had to do to step down here with us. Hopefully they can get something done. Rats, black mold and leaking ceilings are just a few of the problems some families living in the Gadsden Green neighborhood say they face every day. An attorney representing several of the residents, Vanessa Brown, says she's seen these conditions firsthand. It appears that at a minimum, property management has adopted indifference and hostility toward the residents here of Gadsden Green. State Representative Wendell Gilliard, who called today's meeting, says this neighborhood has been neglected far too long. Our responsibility as leaders in the community is to make sure that these children, these women, these men have a quality of life. He says he's reached out to MUSC to get residents tested for impacts of mold and rat feces and scheduled a walkthrough of the units Monday, inviting representatives from DHEC and HUD. At the walkthrough, the Community Resource Center will hand out food, hygiene products, and baby supplies to residents. We cannot have third world conditions in Charleston, South Carolina. At this point, it becomes a humanitarian issue. The Charleston Housing Authority did not provide a comment at this time. At this point, it's not clear whether or not they'll be at Monday's walkthrough. Reporting for Life 5 News, I'm Molly McBride. The chairman of the Board of Commissioners who oversees the Housing Authority says since our story aired, they assessed all of the units in that neighborhood to make repairs. He says it's important to note that not every unit in the neighborhood is in disrepair, but he provided a statement that reads in part, while looking at the story, I'll be the first to say the conditions are unacceptable. The camera doesn't lie. What I've told our team and the rest of our staff is we have to own it first and foremost.